Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and one of my New Year's resolutions for 2022 was to just like get a little bit of the magic back that I had as a kid, like the wonder and the fun and just not take things so seriously, enjoy what I want to enjoy and I think today's video is very much going to help with that because the one and only Ravashin, what are you doing? Hello? Who are you? Where did you come from? But Ravasheen is one of my favorite modders for The Sims 4. I absolutely adore like everything that they put out and they've basically now taken void critters from obviously The Sims 4 kid stuff and made them a hundred times better. So we are gonna check out the Into the Void Void Critter Gaming Tablet. Try saying that three times. That's gonna be very very difficult indeed. So if you have kids room stuff which I actually have a video going live this weekend called I Miss Stuff Packs so I'm playing with them all and I'm just basically gonna play with all of the objects that came with Stuff Packs and added new gameplay but we used to have this absolutely massive like battle station and I honestly think that this item is probably the reason I don't play with Void Critters as much. I was a huge Pokemon fan when I was a kid and I would definitely use these more if it looked cooler but now it it does because it's all on this tiny little tablet and there's also more functionality and is usable by sh children through elders. That was another thing I didn't like about it. Like the battle station, only kids could use it to fight other kids. Teenagers couldn't use it. Hey, maybe I want my elders to have something in common with their kids. We've all seen Audie who sits and plays Animal Crossing and is an elder and I love that for her. She's so much of a fan that they actually named a new villager after her. Play online, buy swag, use the Void Critter Go app. Obviously in Snowy Escape we had the Void Critter Go which was part of the children's festival in Mount Komarebi. It was kind of like Pokemon Go. Increase relationships through online play so your kids can actually interact with each other without being in the same room which is really adorable. I don't think that was available but like I said I will hold my hands up and say I haven't played with the battle station all that much recently so take everything I say with a pinch of salt. Grow skills through training and battling. This didn't happen. You could you could train up your void critters but your like sims actual skills didn't go up so video gaming from teens through to elders. Children get the motor skill and then also social as well because obviously you're playing online. You can shop online for void critter cards, foil cards and booster packs. This absolutely transports me back to my childhood. The amount of times we like traveled to go to Pokemon card like sellers and markets and stuff like that. Prices are hiked for single cards and foil cards. It's so sad but I genuinely want to collect all of the shinies. I still have that innate quality in me. And buy all the Void Critter swag that is already in the game which is really nice. So you have like decals, you have bedding and things like that. Void Critter Go lets you catch virtual critters in the world around your sim so it's kind of taking that snowy escape element and tying it into like actual void critters which is cool. Start the game through the tablet. Once your game is started you do not need to, the tablet to play which is nice in case you don't want to travel with it. You know iPad kids they're definitely going to leave their tablets just lying around in the world. We all know how sims are with like personal belongings. They do not give a shit how much money you spent on them. Kind of like when my niece left my Game Boy Advance in a restaurant when we were in Mallorca with my favorite Dalmatians 2 game and it went missing and got stolen and I cried for hours. Play by clicking on the ground on any lot even whilst traveling. If you can collect 10 before the timer ends your sim will win a Void Critter themed prize. As you can see little Willow over here our kid can't actually play with this at the moment because she doesn't have any Void Critter cards. You can go looking for them in like bins and also in like rocks and stuff like that or you can also buy them online on a computer. However, you can now just do that all through this tablet. It's like fully draggable so you can put it in your sims inventory but we are gonna shop online. We're gonna get cards first of all. 
oh my god, 110 simoleons for the articorn. So like the rare ones are definitely more expensive. Like they can range from like 10 simoleons from a common one to like 110 simoleons. Holy smokes. But they did say that the price would be inflated. So we're gonna go for a booster pack. We're gonna buy five of them and see how that goes. Thanks for ordering. They can be found in her inventory. So we are gonna open these. Sorry, can you uh, stop doing your homework? I actually would prefer you. I wonder how many cards. I think you just get one card per booster pack, which I kind of wish that you got like three. I know that's probably down to the functionality of like how void critters actually work if you have kids room stuff, but just personally, I think like three would be better. So they feel more like a booster rather than just like, hey, here's a single card. I think it would be really cute if like in the future kids could trade with each other. Like obviously you kind of have the gifting system in the game, but it would be really cute if they could like get in touch with their friends and be like, hey, I just pulled this one and I know you need it, but like, do you wanna switch for one that you have? I think that would be adorable. Kind of like a plopsy, but for, <laughs> for, for void critters instead. You know what, we're gonna, we're gonna get the flying serpent. We're gonna get a foil version of it. Limited edition foil card. It costs so much money, oh my word. Let's quickly have a look at all the swag that we can buy though. Cause I want this to be like a full overview. They have little inspirational posters. So you have like beach towels, you have like standees, I think. Plate sets if you want them. You can buy a whole ass pet. Oh, it doesn't tell you the price, which is kind of confusing. This is in early access, by the way. I forgot to say that. This is available on Ravashine's Patreon. I actually managed to get my hands on it early. Big thanks to Ravashine for that. But yeah, one thing I would like to see is like, maybe if you hover over it, like it tells you the price. But I always say when things are in early access, these things could change. Like they could very much listen to feedback. And then we have Train Void Critter. So obviously this kind of works the same way. So like right now we can only train our void critters. We could probably play with people if there was another kid, for example, because kids can only use this and adults can't. We're gonna research advanced game strategies on our little tablet. And I'm assuming, yeah, they just use this based on the web tab. Currently researching how to be the very best. <laughs> Actually, the day I'm posting this, the new Pokemon game is out. <gasps> it's gonna take all of my attention away from Animal Crossing though. And I literally just got my attention back into Animal Crossing after getting Rudy in seven tickets, baby. It's like a full on cartoon. <gasps> this is us training them. Oh, I love that. I love the little detail. And it looks like a little My Sim. They've genuinely, I think this might be a TV show on the kids channel. Oh. Don't quote me on that. But like Chas McFreely is in it. My love. Morcubus is in it. I, would you lot be down for me playing My Sims on my channel? Cause it was one of my favorite games as a kid and I kind of really want to do it. So if you want me down for it, let me know. Okay, let's play Void Critter Go. Let's see how this goes. Virtual Void Critters are all around the world around you. Click anywhere on the ground to hunt for them. If you can catch 10 before the time limit ends, you become one of the legendary. Oh my God, we have eight hours to do this. Absolutely, let's go. We'll go check out in our front garden. We'll go check for a virtual void critter. Is this rabbit trying to lead me to one? Do you have a little void critter near you, wild rabbit? Oh my goodness, we got one. Okay, so this definitely goes off Snowy Escape. This is looking good. We have nine void critters right now and we have three hours to find one more. I've basically just not been making her walk very far. I can imagine you're really gonna lose time like obviously going all around the world, but there we go. That is our 10th winner winner lobster Thermidor dinner. You call it virtual void critters and join the ranks of the legendary void critter trainers. The reward can be found in your inventory. Okay, what did we get? Did we get another shiny? <gasps> We got our shiny Babalus. Oh my goodness, Bubalus. Sorry, I always call them the wrong name. 
basically one of the most iconic void critters that there is. I don't know how we play online. Oh, here we go. Battle void critters. Are any of them past the level one? No, I think all of them are. Okay, so we're gonna go for that one. And look, we don't even just have to play kids. We can play literally anyone in our game. I thought it was gonna like let me choose more than one, but you can only choose one person. So we're gonna battle against Olive. If you would stop talking to Patchy, that would be great. And then if we go into your, there we go. So we are starting to get a relationship with Olive as well. So kind of like with talking to people online and we are gaining the social skill from doing this. I really like how it's not just tied to like physically being in the same room and only being a child. This is great. What a mod. Honestly, it's one of those things that you think you don't need, but like it's just taken everything about this and made it like a hundred times better. Also really quickly, all of the interactions that involve the void critter collectible cards require kids room stuff. The shopping and void critter go features are base game compatible. So you don't actually need snowy escape, but you do need kids room stuff obviously to have basically void critters in your game. Big thank you to Ravasheen for creating this. I absolutely love it. I think this is just such a cute thing. Like gives your kids more personality. I will leave the post down below. Like I said, this is currently in early access for Patreons. It will actually be released on February the 15th. So you don't have to wait too long. But obviously just like ironing out those details, fingers crossed anyway. I absolutely love this. Let me know what you all think of it down below. Who's your favorite void critter? I want to hear it. I want you all, I was going to say I want you all arguing. I want you to battle your favorite void critters against each other. Thank you all so much for tuning in though and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.